Welcome back. This is our Algebra 2 Transformation of Functions, Lesson Number 1, Shifting Functions, Homework Review, Part 3. Please make sure you catch Part 1 too. And of course, if you find the video helpful, please give a like and uh, leave any questions or comments below, especially the, the questions or top parts that you really found troubling, troublesome. And if we need any more explanation, definitely I'll be able to explain. Number 5. The graph of the function f of x is shown in the grid below. The function g is defined by the formula g of x is equal to f of x, f of x plus 3, close parenthesis, minus 1. Graph and label g on the axis along with f. So we are looking here at the type of shift shifting going on here. And when we see x plus 3, this means we're going to shift to the left by 3. And then when we see a minus one, we see we're going to shift down by one. Okay? And so we'll take a look at our take a look at our, our uh, coordinates and we we have in this case so negative three comma neg four will become shift to left by three becomes neg six. Shift down by, by 1 becomes neg 5. We also have, in this case, the coordinate 1, 2, neg 1, 2, neg 1, 2 will become shift to the left by 3 becomes neg 4. Shift down by 1 becomes come 1. We have the coordinate 2, 5. Shift to the left by 3 means 2 minus 3 is neg 1. Shift down by 1, 5 minus 1 becomes 4. And finally, for the last coordinate, 5 comma 1, 5 comma neg 1, we're going to shift to the left by 3, 5 minus 3 is 2. Shift down by 1, neg 1 minus 1 is neg 2. So now we're going to plot these points here. And we'll see in this case, g will have, so becomes neg 6 comma neg 5. So 4, 5, 6, neg 5. Oh, neg 5? Yes. Oh, I see. Actually, that's not neg 5. That's positive. That's positive 4. Shucks. I was like, why is it negative there? It's up, up there. So that's a positive 4. I'm sorry about that, everybody. So that means I have to change this. And so instead of instead of uh, instead of uh, shifting down by one, four minus one is going to be three, not neg five. So those who are screaming at the screen, no, Mr. Gong, you got it wrong. You are correct. Okay. So getting back to our coordinate here, we're going to shift to the left by three, one, two, three, and down by one. And so we're at six. So we're at six comma three. Next six comma three actually. Neg 2 comma 2 becomes neg 4, shift 1, 2, 3, 4, down 1. Actually, shift 1, 2, 3, and down 1. Sorry, there you go. And we're at neg 4 comma positive 1. 2 comma 5 is shift 3 to left, 1, 2, 3, and then down 1. So we're at neg 1 comma 4. And then in phi comma neg one shift left by three, one, two, three, and down by one. We're at two comma neg two. And so, gonna connect these with. Um, I guess one way is gonna be I use a thinner da dash line here so I can distinguish between them. Okay. All right. And so here, this dashed line will be g of x, while this solid line is f of x. Okay. Now, what is the small solution to the equation f of x equals g of x? We mean, at what value of x do the smallest, the smallest value of x, where the two graphs are going to intersect? So where they both have the same y value. And we see that point of intersection was two of them. Here's one here, but one here. The one the furthest to the left is gonna occur at x equals 
neg 2. So a small solution for the, for the equation, when does f of x equal g of x? When x equals neg 2. That's where the two, the two graphs intersect and to the leftmost part because we're looking for the smallest solution. Okay? And now part C. If h of x equals g of x minus 3, explain why the equation h of x uh, equals f of x has no solutions. All right, so if we're going to now transform all the all this here, uh, h uh, g of x by minus 3, it means shift down 3 units. And so if we shift down 3 units, so let's plot here this this leftmost point, which is in this case neg six comma three down three units becomes neg six comma zero. Take this coordinate here of neg four comma one to shift down three units becomes neg uh, becomes neg four comma neg two. This coordinate here of in this case neg one comma four shift down three units becomes. Uh, becomes neg one comma one, and finally this coordinate here of two comma neg two shift down three units becomes two comma neg five. And now we'll connect them. This time I will use the uh, the big red bar, and you will see in this case there are no solutions for f h of x, so this is h of x, okay, I'll put this down as h of x. And h of x has, and G, um, f x has no solutions because there are no points of intersection. No points of intersection, intersection between F h of x and f of x. So at no time do the two functions intersect each other. Therefore, they should have no solutions to the equation. When does h of x equal f of x? Well, never. They never intersect. That's what it means by having no solutions graphically. The two graphs will have no solutions when they don't intersect. Now, it's full page. Okay. Number six. A projectile has a height given by the function h of t equals negative 4.9, parenthesis t minus 4, close parenthesis squared, plus 153, where time t is in seconds and the height h is in meters. What is the maximum height of the function and at what time does it reach that height? Well, here's the thing. We know in this case it's a quadratic functional, and this really is a, if we call f of t is a parent function, is really the same as uh, in this case t squared. Or, you know, so, and how is, so we're looking at h of t and how is it adjusted though? How is it shifted? Well, the original, original uh, turning point of t squared is 0, comma 0. Now, h of t, which is negative 4.9, t minus 4 squared, so t minus 4 post squared, plus 153, is going to be, in this case, a transformation. In this case, the a value is negative 4.9. Your h value is equal to positive 4, and your k value is 153. Oops. equals 153. And you're saying, how is this, you know, how are we looking at this now? Well, if you remember, our vertex form parabola is a minus x minus h squared plus k, where h comma k is the vertex. Well, the original parent function has a vertex at 0, 0. And our new vertex here is going to be 4 comma 153. So we see in this case 0 0 
is transformed to 4, 153, and of course the A value is changed. So, so our, we see in this case, this is the same thing as XY being transformed to X plus 4 and Y plus 153. Now, how does it help us? Well, we know the highest value occurs at the vertex. And in this case, we see in this case here that the highest heights, the, the highest height occurs. So max height occurs at t equals 4. This is going to tell us and the vertex when the highest value or lowest value occurs. Okay? And then the y value is going to tell us the max height. Okay? Max height occurs t equals 4 and is 153 feet. Meters, sorry, meters. I have to use the right units. Meters. Oops. Should be meters S here. Next time we should just type everything out. Sorry about that. So yes, so we talked about before in previous problems that the that the vertex tells us when and what the maximum or minimum is going to occur, you know, when it occurs and what the maximum minimum height is going to be. So here we're going to look at the vertex form, find in this case that the original vertex is zero, zero, and it's shifted by up four to right four up 153 units. Okay, and so there, that's going to be our maximum height. Now, we could we you know, use a graphic calculator? Most definitely. Do we need to? Not really, because we know how to find values based upon our previous knowledge of parabolas. All right, well, this is going to be the end of our algebra two transformation of functions lesson number one shifting functions whole review part three. And again, I hope this was helpful. If it was, please give a like, subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already. And turn notifications to be learned when new videos are added. And uh, you know, leave any questions or comments. Like for example, like when do we learn this? Oh, we learned, you know, when do we learn about the vertex and all? And again, I would stress knowing that vertex form is so important for us for a lot of functions in HM. Okay. And of course, any, any things that you thought were helpful uh, and you really liked about the video, I really appreciate that and all. Okay, bye. I will see you in our next and last video for this for this subject. All right. And um, until then. Take care and be safe.